I have coded well over a hundred projects as a programmer in all kinds of languages from Python, JavaScript to even the abomination that is Java. So in this video, I wanted to give you my five favorite projects that I've ever built that you can possibly take inspiration from. And all of these projects have a special place in my heart for different reasons. Some of them are great beginner projects that were some of the projects that really made programming click for me in my brain that you could do if you're a beginner. Some of these are especially great resume projects that will make your resume may stand out and help you get a job while some of these are just extremely fun and will make you appreciate the art and skill of programming by building something truly enjoyable and interesting. I believe every coding project that I have made whether I finished it or not has taught me some lesson or has left me with at least one new skill that I can add to my programming repertoire and if there's just one thing that you take away from this video be it this coding projects is the pathway for anyone to go from zero to becoming a great programmer because when you actually apply your skills in practice that is when these skills actually get ingrained inside of your brain so you don't have to code these projects but i hope that either these projects themselves or just the lessons i've gained from these projects can teach you something that can make you a better programmer and if that happens make sure to hit the like button it's completely free by the way so let's start with the first project which is a tax calculator application. Now this has a special place in my heart because it was the first big project that I ever coded with my coding skills. You might remember a course called CS50 which I've talked about a bunch in the very early days of my channel. That was a course that really sparked my interest in programming and this very project was the sort of capstone project that I built for that course. And it was the first time I really felt like damn I actually know how to code. I actually coded something interesting that I would actually really want to use myself. The way it would work is that you can input a grow salary in any currency be the US dollar and then the application would output that net salary of the taxes in any given country that you input into the application. Now in terms of a coding project it's not actually the most complex project even though it might seem like it. The most complicated part of the project is actually just figuring out and reading the tax rules of every country which can get quite complicated but as a programming project it is definitely on the beginner end and it's a really great beginner project if you're into very boring tax stuff like I am and it's great because it's useful it's easy to understand for anyone within like five seconds and it was related to something that I genuinely was interested in and I wanted to solve and it showed me that even just with quite basic programming skills like literally just the basics of Python and the basics of Flask which was the server where I hosted this on I was able to build something like this now of course it doesn't look the nicest you could expand it by actually making the UI look a bit nicer but it was useful and that was just really cool to me but the bigger lesson from this project is that you want to start off building something you actually want to build. Even if you just have basic coding skills, if you just get creative, you'd be surprised how many things you can do with just the basics. And if you just pick something you actually want to build, even if you don't know how to build it yet and you just start building it, you'll be surprised how far you can actually go with just the help of google.com. Second one is an algorithms visualizer. Now this is one of the best resume projects you can build. And I will tell you why in a second. But essentially the idea is that I just took some computer science algorithms, like for example, the depth for search and breadth for search algorithms, which are essentially graph path finding algorithms. And I figured out how could I visualize these algorithms? Because I was also learning about these algorithms at the same time. So it was like, why not combine this into an actually interesting coding project where I not only get to practice coding up these algorithms, but also applying them to a nice visual front end. I've also built one for sorting algorithms earlier, where basically it works like this, where you just click on different sorting algorithms and it just visualizes how the sorting happens, which gives you an idea of how these algorithms differ from each other. And the reason why this project is such a great resume project is because it hits the three key building blocks of all great resume projects. Number one, they are visual, i.e. when a recruiter looks at the project, they can instantly understand what it does. A recruiter is not going to spend a ton of time trying to understand what your convoluted project does. No, no, no. It needs to be visual and easy to understand. Number two, while it's easy to understand, it still shows deep programming knowledge. Literally by building a project like this, you're not only showing that you have front-end development skills because you can build a cool UI like this, but it also also shows that you understand depth for search and breadth for search algorithms, which are exactly the kinds of skills that these employers actually look for. And number three, it solves a genuine problem. Like something like this is genuinely a useful educational tool for anyone who wants to sort of see the difference between these two algorithms. Now, I've actually built a full mini course on how to build this maze pathfinding visualizer over on Zero to Mastery, which you can access for like literally like 30 bucks or something like that. If you're not aware, Zero to Mastery is basically a coding course 
platform. It's like the Netflix spot for coding courses, where you just pay one very affordable subscription and you get access to like 60 coding courses in just one platform. And if you're not sure where to start, they have a career quiz where you can essentially just answer a few questions about what kind of developer you want to be, what your goals are, and it's just going to suggest to you different courses that you can do on that platform. They have full roadmaps for all kinds of different programming paths like web development, they have JavaScript, Python, blockchain development, literally anything you could think of. They've also just released a brand new career path called the Become an AI Developer Path that will teach you everything you need to know to become an AI developer from zero, including new courses like the Prompt Engineering Bootcamp, as well as a project course on building a chatbot with Nuxt TypeScript and the OpenAI Assistance API. Then they also have project-related courses where you can go through some of these courses and build the project together with the instructor as you go and as you learn something new as well. And on top of just the courses, they have a Discord support community that you get access to with 400,000 active members where you have different channels for different programming languages and things like this. They have instructors and TAs who will help you inside of the community if you're stuck. They also have courses on making your resume, different career hunting tips. And of course, upon completing any course, you get a full certificate to prove that you have the skills. If you're interested in Zero to Mastery, I partnered with them for this video. And if you use my affiliate link down below with the discount code FRIENDS10, you also get a nice discount on the platform. So with that said, let's move on to project number three, which is actually going to be just a category of project. It's going to be finance automation projects. Now, this is another sort of passion project for me because I'm really interested in personal finances, tracking my personal finances is understanding how much money I'm saving, where I'm spending my money, things like that. I've built several scripts to do that. I have a full tutorial on my channel, like one of the earlier ones that I did. I've made better ones ever since, and I'm now building a full finance dashboard where I get to connect my bank accounts to this dashboard and see a full review of my finances in one place. I think it's really cool. And I'm making another video on that topic, by the way, that's going to be linked somewhere down below when it's ready. The way this works is that you get to essentially import a CSV of your bank transactions, and then you have a script inside of Python that will automatically parse it, it will find the transactions, it will categorize them. And then over time, you get to build this sort of database of your financial information. And the reason why I didn't want to use just the banking apps is because I have a lot of different bank accounts in many different countries as well. I wanted to have one place where I can integrate all of it in one place. And this is genuinely something that's been very, very useful to me and something that would be super, again, impressive on a resume as well, specifically because it solves a real problem. It's easy to understand. And it also shows the program knowledge because I'm combining multiple different skills like parsing CSVs, Python scripting, even visualization of that build it full dashboard for myself. And these are the kinds of projects you really want to think about where you can combine multiple different skills together to really solve a problem. Now the fourth one is my most ambitious project that I've ever built. And it's really more than a project. It's actually my tech startup that we built last year it's called Boxio. It's essentially a productivity app that lives on your desktop that allows you to essentially automatically close different files tabs and apps inside of your computer when you're moving from let's say one task to another for example let's say you're working on a coding project you have certain tabs certain apps and certain files that you want to have open when you're working on that project but then let's say you want to stop working on that and go do something else like plan your travels for example i'm traveling right now it's a bit cumbersome to manually have to close everything on your computer and then open up everything new related to the new thing that you want to do with boxio the idea is that you can create these boxes inside of this sidebar you have on your computer and then just by clicking between these boxes, you can open up these different sets of tabs, files, and apps in just one click. Now, we were doing this as a business with two other co-founders, actually. The business side of it didn't succeed. We've actually scrapped the startup, but the application still exists. You can actually still download it for completely free on the website. We just didn't see enough retention to warrant spending time on this and really trying to grow this into a business, so we decided to scrap it. But from an engineering perspective, it's pretty freaking impressive what we were able to build. But as an aside, it just also goes to show that just because your project is impressive from an engineering perspective doesn't mean that it's gonna make for a great business as we learned. <laughs> but I'm still super glad I did this because building this thing, which is like my ambitious project of my coding career, literally made me into a totally new engineer. I learned skills that I would never have learned just coding smaller projects, like not just on the technical side, but on the interpersonal side as well, coding a real project with someone else. Now, you don't have to code a full startup to do this, but you can literally like take someone else you, who you know is learning to code and try to build a pretty ambitious project together. If nothing else, this is literally going to show to employers that you have software engineering skills because you have gone out of the way to build something a lot more ambitious and impressive than any other candidate that they're probably going to get. So the lesson here and what I recommend to all of you, maybe not if you're a beginner, but at some point, just pick one really
really like big and impressive, like a bold project that you really want to build and just start building it. Just like don't, you don't have to rush it, but just like build a couple of new things every single day. And like over time, over months or years, that is going to grow into something pretty impressive. And without noticing your skills as an engineer are literally going to skyrocket to the next level. You don't have to build something this big straight away, but do start thinking about having something like this on the side, because who knows, maybe it turns out that the next billion dollar tech startup probably won't though. And last but not least, we have something a bit fun. I actually built a Tinder bot that is actually super fun. This is like my fun project on this list. Essentially the way it works is that I was using the web version of Tinder and I built a web scraper that would essentially just go and automatically swipe on everyone on Tinder and then automatically send messages to all of them as well. But essentially, I didn't have to spend any time swiping or even messaging. I would just message everyone some generic message <laughs> and then I could just see who responds. Now, of course, the problem is I got no match so um, it's a bit of an issue. But other than that, it was a really, really fun project. And I really got to use web scraping skills. It was really the first web scraping project I ever built. And this was really fun. And it really reminded me that really the skill of coding at the end of the day is really just about having fun. Like you want to be having fun throughout the process when you're coding. Because if you're doing that, again, you're going to stick to coding a lot more. If you can build something that's really cool, then you can tell your friend like, oh, lol, I built this thing that does this. Like, it's just really, really interesting. So that's the lesson there. Don't just build serious projects, try to build something a bit fun as well. That's just going to make you so much more excited about the skill of coding. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. The point of this video is not even to talk about these specific ideas, but sort of the lessons along the way, what kinds of projects you want to be thinking about building, what kinds of projects you might want to have on your portfolio as a programmer. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you build, as long as you're building something new every single week, every single month, that is slightly harder, slightly more complex than what you built before, that's teaching you new skills, you are going to be moving forward as a programmer. But with that said, if your goal is specifically to build the best resume projects, to just get that first job as fast as possible so you can start actually earning money with your coding skills, I recommend you watch this video right here where I specifically give you five really impressive Python resume projects. They can finish in literally just one weekend. This is literally the fastest way for you to build an impressive looking resume that's going to make you stand out as a programmer. So I recommend you go watch that video right there. If, however, you want to see the video about the Tinder bot, I actually made a video about that on the channel you can also watch that right there with that said keep on coding projects and i will see you in the next one